What's up and welcome back everyone, my name is Vaden and today I will share some uncommon and advanced tips that will help you to become a better pilot. I've been flying planes since Battlefield 2 and I absolutely love the flight models, the aesthetics and the sound in Battlefield 5. Some of my tips are for flying mechanics and flight maneuvers while some others are rather mindset and strategy based. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Tip number one, defensive maneuvers. This is a big one to start with. If you're in the bomber and got an enemy plane behind you, you should switch to the gunner seat as soon as possible. Especially with the upgraded Spitfire and BF-109, you really don't have a lot of time before you get shut down. So you want to start shooting back at them as soon as you can. The gunner machine guns on bombers are fairly strong and with the Junkers 88 you can actually upgrade them to heavy machine guns which makes taking down planes that chase you pretty easy. General awareness is pretty important here. In this clip I actually notice the enemy fighter plane in my flight path even before he turns on me so I know that I need to be careful. I keep looking back and as soon as I hear his engine sound I switch to the gunner seat right away and I take him out even before he gets a shot off on me. On the same note, if you're flying a fighter plane, don't become greedy or get tunnel vision. If you are chasing a bomber, don't just fly behind him in a straight line until his machine gun shreds you to pieces. Here I was in a Spitfire chasing a Junkers 88 and his gunner actually gets a couple of pretty good shots on me. So I disengage and I attack from a different angle again which makes it much harder for him to hit me. You really should try to be unpredictable and use the gunner's limited range of motion to your advantage. With other types of planes you have to become a little more creative. Generally speaking, try to avoid slow direction changes which expose your broadside because exposing so much surface area will present a large easy to hit target. If you're being chased, don't just fly slow turns but instead try barrel rolls, erratic maneuvers and decrease your speed. Try to also be aware of the direction that the enemy is coming from. In this clip, the enemy Spitfire probably could have outturned me, but instead he remains right in my flight path and right in front of my crosshair and makes him an easy target. In my opinion, one of the best things that you can do is reduce the throttle and stay close to the ground, which can reduce your speed even further. And oftentimes, enemy planes just react too late and overtake you. Here I was just minding my own business when I heard that iconic whistling engine sound of the BF-109 right behind me. So I immediately try to fly a little more unpredictable, I pull back on the throttle and I fly low to the ground. The BF-109 ends up overtaking me but for some reason he actually stays within my flight path right in front of me and I can easily take him out. Again, try to understand where the enemy is coming from and what his plane and your plane are capable of. The Mosquito is definitely a little more sturdy so I can easily afford taking a few hits while slowing down and then take him out. Here's another example where I have a Stuka behind me so I keep looking back to understand where he's coming from, where he's going. I can afford taking a few hits and then once he passes me I can easily align my shots and take him out. And one last time, here I want to stress how important it is to use your free look button and keep looking back and also use the sound to figure out what direction the plane is coming from so you can adjust your own flight path get behind them, take them out easily. Tip number two, choose the right plane. This one sounds kind of strange, but it has to do a lot with awareness, which again is one of the most important things to become successful because you always want to be able to react to the situation on the battlefield. So here I see that the enemy flight squadron is almost entirely made out of bombers, which tells me that I can easily use the Mosquito or a bomber as well. Again, the Mosquito is pretty sturdy and has some very fast firing machine guns, which makes it ideal to take out enemy bombers. I'm saying that you can't use other planes in certain situations. For example, as a bomber, you'll likely be able to deal with one fighter, but if there's two fighters or they're really, really good, it just becomes very frustrating for you. Also, if you're in a fighter and there's a very good AA on the ground, there's just no point, at least in my opinion, so I'd rather switch to a Mosquito. Tip number three, read the map. This one plays into the previous tip. 
you will always want to know what's going on on the map and where the enemy team is at. Keep an eye on objectives that are being captured by the enemy. Once fully captured, an objective will likely have enemies spawn on them, which makes it a great bombing opportunity. In this clip, I noticed that objective F is about to get captured, so I come in and preemptively just drop a few bombs and I actually even managed to destroy a tank. I turn around and I notice that F is still not secured, drop some bombs and manage to get another kill. Also, on some maps, you can even identify enemy troops and tanks when on the deploy screen. Here on Fiel 652, I had just died and while waiting to respawn, I noticed that our team was being completely overrun on B. And if you take a close look, you can actually spot all those enemy soldiers on the map. This of course is not possible on every map, but on some other maps you will still be able to spot tanks or enemy planes. And just keep an eye on these things, because this can greatly help you identify bombing opportunities and then provide some actual support for your team. Tip number 4, utilize free look and sound. I like to climb and gain altitude when I first spawn into a plane to get an overview what's going on and get an advantage over enemy planes. Make sure to use free look in the cockpit view to identify enemy targets before engaging. And I also recommend using the Q button to mark areas where you saw enemies to not lose track of them when you turn. In this clip you can see how the marker helped me to keep an overview within all this rubble and clutter on the ground and I actually managed to get a few bombs off the Spitfire on the tank. You just can see how I used the free look to look back a lot and it's a great tool to keep an overview and to identify targets for your next bombing run. I'm not quite sure what the default button for free look is. To me it's when I press down mouse wheel because this is something that I can easily reach at all times also when maneuvering. Another little trick that I would recommend is just try to pre-fire areas where you suspect enemies because they will get either hit markers or even get spotted when you shoot close to them. And my last recommendation when it comes to awareness, go to the options and turn on 3D headphones in the audio settings. This in my opinion really can help to better pinpoint the direction of incoming enemy planes around you. And lastly, tip number 5, work with your squad. Playing with a friend is not always possible, I know, but if you do so, you can actually get some really great results. Have a friend on the ground play a sniper and use a spotting scope to identify target areas, or even better, have him join you in the air. I've seen cases where two friends and planes just dominated the skies. I know it sounds difficult, but all you have to do really is just keep an eye on each other. If one of you is a bomber, I notice that typically enemy fighters will just tunnel vision and go after the bomber and ignore the fighter plane, so it's an easy target for you or your friend. We have an issue over there. And there you have it guys! Flying in Battlefield 5 can be a ton of fun. These are some of the things that I do when flying planes and most of the time they help me to be pretty successful. So I hope they will help you as well if they do and if you have any other questions or tips, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and leave a like, if you didn't a dislike and I will see you guys in the next one.